This is The Sin Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of The Pit Stop. We are here to talk about today's sim racing news, and the real star today's show is you, the pit crew. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here to talk about today's sim racing news, and I'm a mess, I guess, today. I thought I can't get the words out of my mouth, but I'm feeling great and happy to be here Tuesday morning on the 30th of January, 2018, to talk about sim racing news. And of course, I'm here to talk about the news. Some of the topics are just things we're going to go right past. Some of the things are things that you're going to want to chime in and have an opinion on. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Let me get a swig of coffee here. Mm. Maybe that's why I couldn't get the words out of my mouth. I was uh, predicting that to happen. So, again, we are here to talk about the sim racing news each and every day. And some of it we just blow through and some of it we talk about in greater detail. And, and again, if there's anything you want to talk about in sim racing, please let me know in the chat and we will talk about it. So, what's going on? Starting with Forza Motorsport, not a big deal, but they are taking voting. So if you're into Forza and you want to play a role or have a say in the next car in the spe specialty dealer lineup, you can vote between the 69 Charger, 2012 Pagani Huayra, and the toy, uh, 2018 Tamo Race Mo, which I'm not even 100% sure what that <laughs> car is, but you can vote on that. Next up, this story is at B-SIM. Give them full credit where credit is due. And B-SIM picked up on a story that was at Red Bull Gaming uh, in an interview where they confirmed that Subaru is coming to iRacing in the form of the GRC. So that could be a very good addition. I know a lot of people love the GRC, and I know a lot of people are actually uh, have been asking about Subaru since day one. I mean, it's such a beloved car when it comes to rallying and off-roading and time attack even or time trialing and, of course, global rally cross. And I see a lot of hellos out there. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for being part of the crew. Hello to all of you as well. And thank you for being here to talk about the sim racing news. Uh, next up, Project Cars 2. I'm just telling you about this because, you know, we're all about entertainment. We all like watching this favorite pastime of ours, uh, sim racing. And so tonight at 6 p.m. GMT, which is coming up like right now, uh, or in one hour if I'm not mistaken. But you're going to have the ACR, the Actual Vision Triple Threat, round two uh, with various different racing going on. And if you're just looking for a stream to watch instead of watching TV, this could be entertaining for you. So check that out going on right now or in the next hour or so. Uh, next up, this is a cool story. Ion and Me Studios partners with Casey Kane Racing and announces Off-Road Heat Racing Game. What? That's kind of cool. Scroll down and what do we see? We see Outlaw Sprint Cars. I mean... This is World of Outlaw stuff in the in another form. So I mean, you know I love iRacing, but it's not for everybody. And and they use the word heat, and that could mean something negative to the hardcore sim racing community. Because does that mean like NASCAR heat? Is that what level we're talking about? But this could be a, a more user friendly, more playable version of Outlaw. And, and not be part of the, the iRacing program, which is, again, as much as I love it, it's, it's a, you know, rental program. It's a, it's a membership program, and that's not for everybody. So this will be more of a typical buy it and run it, it looks like. But this could be very cool, uh, and, and it could be a, a, another great title for us to be able to play with. And we'll have to stay on top of this to find out when it's actually coming out and what all it will have in it. So cool story there. Uh, next up, I've seen various different controller-driven real cars, and usually it's about the car itself. Anyway, this is a cool article at DualShockers.com, and again, I have all the links to all these uh, topics at TheSimPit.com with today's story. Uh, but this is basically talking about how they turn the controller into operating this GTR. So, obviously, this is all done as promotional hype stuff, but it's also very cool, and it's totally a sim racing type story. they got a couple different videos to watch, and that can be fun and entertaining for you guys. Uh, next up, this is, this. Uh, we've talked or heard about this going on, but, you know, streaming is big. 
and the whole watch me drive, watch me shoot, watch me play gaming phenomenon is huge. And Facebook isn't going to be left in the dark. So they're coming after Twitch. They're coming after YouTube. And they're going to have their own gaming program, basically, essentially, for live streaming. And you got to think about Facebook and, 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 you know, have they hit their peak? You know, I know for a lot of the younger generation, that's like what the old guys do. Um, it's already kind of run its course in that respect. So this could be one of the things they're doing to stay with the the stay with the times a little bit um oh i enemy you're very welcome i'm glad you're here i i'm thrilled i'm thrilled that that is happening and uh you're here i'll uh gladly bring it up again uh whoop where did it go where did it go uh here it is sorry <laughs> yeah so i if you have more details and you can tell us any more that would be great to know and we here at the Sim Pit are really looking forward to, uh, uh, you know, letting people know what all is going to be involved in it, and of course, trying it out firsthand and and doing it with our crowd. So, I am very much looking forward to that and having, I think, uh, outlaw cars in a, you know, more user friendly circumstance than iRacing racing is a great thing for the rest of the world. So, and feel free to post any relevant links in the show here. So, thank you for joining us as well. Thank you for being part of the Pit Crew. Uh, this is an interesting story that can, can actually be scary for all of us uh, if you really want to look at it through negative eyes. But rumors suggest Microsoft has considered, and in the corporate world, considering is a strong word, acquiring EA Valve PUBG Corp. Uh, that's Steam. So if you're sitting there with a 100-game library of Steam and you've depended on Steam and their sales to cash in on titles... Um, this could be a game changer. I mean, Microsoft is a controlling part of the gaming industry, and Steam has sort of been that place for a lot of independent companies and smaller producers to get on. Will it affect that availability? Will it affect the pricing? Will it affect the licensing? Will it affect what you can and cannot do with your Steam account? Um, anyway, I don't know. I always get a little fearful when the big, giant, giant companies buy up the other companies. And I don't know. Personally, I don't think that always works in our best interest, unfortunately. Uh, speaking of Microsoft, so they issued an update to roll back Intel Spectre Meltdown problematic patches. So, as we've talked about on the show, what's going to happen to our computers, what's going to happen to our internets as these hardware companies, for the most part, are trying to deal with some of these new threats. And anyway, uh, you're going to see a lot of this, I think. You're going to see some patches come out with some problems and then some patches to fix the pack patches. And then does that just put us back to where we were? Did that cure the actual problem? So this is a tech power up. If you want to look at that, and again, I have the description, uh, the link to the story in the description for all you super computery guys i mean this is way over my head i just cover it because it's relevant to us and what we do uh on a brighter note talk about great people and stand on it i want to thank you for you know painting up almost all the cars for our sir sim racing system series but there's a post in the forums at srs and russell Sobey. i've seen his name around i think he's been on the track with us even and Russell is basically saying he loves painting cars, and you can see some of his work here. He's a pretty decent painter, and he basically gave an open invitation. I hope we don't flood him too badly, but my point is partially if you're looking for a car paint scheme in SRS, maybe not one of the ones Stan's doing for us in the patron group in our series, but my, my main point is I just want to point out Russell as an example of how many fantastic people there are in sim racing. And when you look across the board, whether you're talking about guys who share setups, guys who do paint, guys who run series or leagues, which is a lot of work and you don't get a lot of thank yous in return, the guys who stream, the guys who broadcast, the guys who finish races even though they crash just to make sure there's still a crowd for everybody to finish. There's so many good people and so many kind gestures in sim racing. And so... I'm pointing out Russell today, but he's a fine example of what you see across the board 
And one of the reasons why I think I'm such an advocate, such a strong lover of sim racing, it's not just the racing. It's not just that it displaces my love and need for real life racing, but it's the community and the friendships and the good people that I do come across as well. So thank you, Russell. Uh, I hope you don't get too many requests that you can't handle based on this uh, going out. And if you're looking for a paint job for something in sim racing system, you might want to check out that thread in the forum and say hello to Russell yourself. Anyway, uh, article at IGN talking about upcoming games. Again, I have the link. I'm not going to go through it too heavily. I mean, I'll, I'll go through and tell you things I'm looking forward to myself. Gravel, Crew, Monster Energy, MTX versus ATV. I'll have some fun with that. TT Isle of Man. Man, am I looking forward to that one. And Dakar 18, which we talked about. That was sort of a surprise out of nowhere. Uh, to, to be determined uh, or to be announced 2018. So probably expect that the end of the year would be my guess. Um, uh, yeah, Virgil, there's the negative side too. Uh, there is. I mean, and that's why I think I like to, you know, point out people on the good side of the bit as well because that offsets some of the negativity that we do see out there. And, and you know, we can all be accused of it in, in, in small scales at various different times. But uh, for the most part, there are some really great people in our sim racing community. So again, you can check out the list. Switchblade, some ones I didn't name. Steel Rats, I know nothing about. We'll have to look into that. Anti-Gravitator. Uh, but that's what we have to look forward to on the software side of things, uh, release-wise. And then various different updates from all of our mainstays, of course. Um, Looking for a good deal. This seems to be going on and on and on at the Euro side of the PlayStation so store, but here's a big list of pretty much every driving game available and a pretty discounted price. So this ends February 7th. If you are looking for um, Karting Sim, Karting Sim. There was a Karting Sim we tried that was terrible not good i can't remember what it was um anyway next up esport observer has this story talk about nascar teams building esports effort they're running late all the tracks are announcing their own individual esports uh and this is an article talking about nascar themselves along with iRacing pulling things together probably not in time for the daytona 500 next month but they are on it. They are actively bringing this up to speed. So if you are a iRacing NASCAR person, you might be at a point where you're going to have to de decide, is it the world championship or is it the eSport? Do I have to go from venue to venue to do the eSport? Is this a promotional or is this a real eSport for the actual best of the best? Um, it'll be another one of those that we're going to have to keep our eye on. Again, I... I We've been talking about eSport being bigger than ever in 2018. We're only 30 days into the first month of 2018, and look at the explosion. Look at how much the word eSport is being thrown around left and right everywhere we turn, people wanting to cash in on the action in so many different ways. Um, this is another one of those semi-could-be-very-scary articles, and just the title is enough to kind of make you think about it, but this is at arstechnica.com gaming. Uh, the still uncertain state of video game streaming online. Now, when you buy a game, a piece of software, it usually has included an end-user agreement. And I, this article states, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say that almost all of us who stream are breaking some of the violations. Now, it's very, very non-policed. But what if Microsoft buys Steam and Microsoft says, no, we want to control the streaming world. You can only control, we, you can only stream under our rules. Here they are. Um... This, you know, the internet has been the Wild West. You do what you want. There was no police, and that's good and bad, and we've seen both sides of it. As it's becoming a true utility, as it's becoming a, a part of everyday life for every person on the planet, it's going to change, and what we can and cannot do is going to change with it. And 
you know, it could be good, it could be bad. Again, these are just foods for thought. I don't have a strong opinion. I, I don't, it's just, what, what if? What if all of a sudden they say you can't stream? It's against the rules and they shut you down. That would really suck. <laughs> all right. Gosh, another horrible story. And this is my last story of the day. This is at Racer. Townsend Bell robbed of racing memorabilia. The guy's off at the Rolex announcing the race. If you listened, he did a great job. Um, <laughs> while he's away, his home gets robbed. And not only is that bad enough, but they steal 10 of his like attendance rings from the atten uh, Indy 500. They stole his 2000 Indy Lights championship ring. They stole his Rolex watch from 2014 victory at the Rolex. Um... The poor guy, I mean, I don't know. I mean, for any of you, if you played sports, and I have one trophy from my karting days, and it means the world to me. And I'm sure if you had a 100, there'd be certain ones that mean the world to you. And I can only imagine that his Rolex watch from winning the Rolex being stolen is just... This, to me, is a crime on top of crimes. Not only is it a crime that his house was broken into, but it's a crime to take such things from a champion. And and I, there should be special race fan only criminal action taken against such an offender. <laughs> that sounded very strong. I didn't quite mean it quite like that, but I think you see my point. And I'm very sad for Townsend Bell, and uh, it's a terrible thing to hear. Uh, but it is definitely relevant. Anyway, that does really take us to the end of today's news. It's been a fun, fun show. Lots of different things to talk about. And even when it's not all sim racing, it's all relevant to what we do each and every day. Again, at the Sim Pit, you will find this beautiful uh, Ion Outlaw Sprint Car thumbnail uh, for today's news. Uh, right now, I just have them in the... In the it quick. I'm not even going to call it lazy. I was just running behind. I'm going to change them all to the hyperlinks, but there are links to all the stories of today's article, so if you go to the simpit.com, you can check that out. And beyond that, last night I did a out-of-nowhere stream, and I called it Monday Fun Day. And Monday sometimes is a bummer for a lot of people, and I thought it would be kind of fun just to do something different. And so I figured, let's have fun. Let's have a good time. And I'm a decent racer. But as we learned last night, I am a terrible truck driver. So if you didn't get a chance to see this, then you please, please, got to go check out the stream. I have the link to this show in the description of this show right here on YouTube. If you want a good laugh, please put your children away. Do This is not for, for a young audience. I was losing my mind, and there were so many different various moments that I and everybody watching were laughing very hard because I, I am a terrible truck driver. But I just thought, hey, I'm going to give American Truck Simulator a try. It's been a long, long, long time since I've been, done any of those games or sims, and it was worth watching. So please check that out and have a good time and have a good laugh at my expense. Um, <laughs> Frankenstein, it, it wasn't my driving that was bad. It was my backing up. But I got to tell you, even my driving was bad. I was like barely even paying attention. I had, It's amazing. You're not even going very fast, but there's actually a lot to do when you're trying to drive uh, a giant gearbox like that and a truck. And it was, anyway, watch the video. It was fun to watch. I, I, I might make a tradition, I don't know about every Monday, but I might make Monday fun days and try to find something a little less serious to do on Mondays, including doing some more American Truck Simulator in the future, because that was fun. And I wouldn't mind getting just a little bit... Yeah, it's R-rated, or certainly uh, NC-17, or I don't know the, the way that... It, it's not for children, that's for sure. Uh, and I apologize for some of my behavior and and language uh, right now. I'll, uh, I'll apologize. But you'll, you'll understand when you see my frustration. Uh, but as my grandma said, Sean, you're smarter than that. There are always better words to describe your emotions than the words I used last night. <laughs> anyway, so grandma would not be proud. Beyond that, I am shooting for tonight. It's in the works. It is coming down to the wire, but I'm trying. Wreckfest, yes, that's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, for sure, for sure. 
uh, Wave Impetus, uh, Wave Italy Impetus Pedal Review. I am trying so hard. It might be midnight tonight. I am dropping everything and turning off all the phones and all distractions and doing nothing between now and then to get this done. Spin tires. That would be another fun one to do. Great suggestions, you guys. Very, very great suggestions. So, um, anyway, that is going to do it for today's show. Thank you so much for being part of the pit crew. Thank you so much for being here, having fun with me, talking about sim racing and gaming news in general, just to make sure that we have our thumb on the pulse of the sim racing community. Thanks again for being here. Be back tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., with another edition of the Pit Stop. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.